And so we're gathered here this morning to celebrate another history in the making, the official commissioning by your good self of the phase one of the Blue Line Lagos Mail Rail Mass Transit. In this historic spirit of today, we will also be signing the contract for the construction of the second phase of this Blue Line. On the 4th of September 2023, Lagos State Government started full passenger operation on the phase one of the Lagos Blue Line Metro Rail Mass Transit. On the same time, construction commenced on the phase two. 2025 counting, the service on the 13 km of the first phase of the Blue Line keeps servicing Lagosians in their numbers. Why the 14 km of the phase two is gearing up? I'm happy to also say that we'll be completing our own portion of Lagos Baladri Express Road within the first quarter of next year, which takes us to Okokomaiko. The federal government has committed to take it on and continue that road construction up onto Badagri. And in the middle of that alignment is where we have the phase two of the blue line, which will go from mile two all the way to Okokomaiko. And my and my, my commitment is that the phase two of it, it's at grid level, is going to be done quicker, faster, and smarter. From the look of things, Lagos State Government is truly committed towards bringing the Lagos Blue Line Metro Rail Mass Transit Phase 2 to life before the deadline of 2027. As your favorite amiibo, I dig grant to bring you an update on the work progress. There are six stations on the phase two. I'll cover everything station by station. This is the station and uh, this is the rail track. From here, you can see that some feeling is ongoing as we explore further on this video we have to see the progress they've made here on the lagos blue line phase two so this is the rail track hi guys i'm currently at the okokomaiko train station this is it the station is all taking shape. What I'm seeing here to the last time I was there, I can say that there have been a lot of difference. This was the progress of work as of May 2025 at the Okokomaiko station. Coming back in July, this is a notable difference on the station. The station is fully formed with deckings and pillar fully done. When the station is fully completed, it will service residents at Iwiliri, Yanosach, Iba, Okokomaiko, and other parts of the city. This station is indeed built with the future in mind. It is spacious and promised to house modern facilities when fully completed. On the track, sand filling is still ongoing. The BRT bus corridors and shelter being added on this project is one thing that makes this project unique. I'm currently at the Lagos State 
University, Lasso, and uh, we'll be seeing the Lasso station. Also, what they've done here on the Lasso station and on the Lasso bridge. So, tell us, guys. Early this year, Lagos State government received new sets of coaches to improve the services on the Blue Line. This means trains are already available for the services if eventually they should want to start operation anytime soon. On the Lasso station after Kokomaiko, this is the fifth station on the Lagos Blue Line Phase 2. They've made significant progress in comparison to our last visit in May. The pillars are fully formed. Installation of scaffolding in preparation for decking is ongoing. Lasso station is another sophisticated station that will service the prestigious Lagos State University, Lasso, and even other parts of the corridor. Just after the Lasso station, we have the Lasso Bridge. This is one of the elevated points on the phase two of the Lagos Blue Line, and this is the progress they've made. If you compare our last visit, you notice that they formed the pillars before now, and some filling is taking place on the bridge. Guys, this is the Volkswagen train station. Let's see what's going on here. So this is the, the platform. So the formation is on that way, here on the platform. And this is the train station itself. The Volkswagen station is the number four station on the phase two before Lasso station. Strategically located in a densely populated area, this station will service commuters heading to Alaba International Market, Vos Yanoba, and other part of the city. Compared to our last visit, this station is just getting attention. On the road track, sound feeling is still ongoing. Guys, behind me there, that's the soon to be iconic trade fair station that will service traders in trade fair, customers that will come to buy in trade fair, and thousands of Lagosians living along this corridor. Let's see what's going on right here at the station. Stay low, guys. The trade fair station is another important station along the corridor. This is the number 3 station just before Volkswagen station and after Lakija station. This station is positioned to serve Lagosians along this corridor. It will serve Teddy residents, to serve Ojo Barracks and most importantly the Lagos Trade Fair, one of the busiest markets in Lagos. This station is gradually getting attention. In comparison to our last visit in May, this was what the station was looking like and this is what we have going on as we came back in July. Right here is the Alakija train station. Alakija train station is the second station before Trade Fair station. This station is dedicated to convey passengers going to Abulado 
Alakija and other part of Lagos around the corridor. Pillars and decking is fully formed. Laying of bricks is ongoing on the station. Alakija station is visible and work is progressing. They are currently working on the pedestrian bridge, which is work in progress. On the track, they are still some feeling, and as you can see from the look of things, it's been a while. They are also working on the drainage on the track. Guys, this is a first stack train station. The first station after mile two. And this is actually the first station on the Lagos Blue Line phase two. This station will help convey commuters going to first stack, Aboju, uh, Oluti, another part of the city around this corridor. A significant level of progress has been achieved here on Festac train station. It's not just the building for the Festac station that is visible. Construction of pillars for the pedestrian bridge is also standing tall right here in Festac station. Pedestrian bridges is considered as an important part of the project because the blue line run on pure electric. This will help separate movement of pedestrians and the train when the blue line is fully completed. Inclusion of BRT bus shelters beautify this project. Here in Festac station, the deckings are almost done. The necessary pillars are already formed. Laying of bricks, plastering work is almost completed. Almost all the basics on the station is completed, waiting for the finishing touch. This is a platform and work is ongoing. On the rail track is work in progress. We just arrived Mazamaza Bridge. This is the Mazamaza Bridge. And this happens to be one of the most crucial part of the project. This is where the first, the first phase and the second phase will connect. Up there, I've seen the Mile 2 station. Right here in Mazamaza Bridge, the contractors had to bring down an existing bridge to erect a stronger one that will be compatible for the blue line and it has been a lot of work. As at current, the piling for the pillars of the bridge. You know, one thing that caught my attention is, last time I came here, they were piling, and today, that's the piling. When you begin to wonder the amount of resources, energy, commitment put on this project, I can't help you but to say thank you to Lagos State Government and the contractors. Coming here almost every time, I begin to appreciate how well they are doing and we are hoping to see the blue line fully completed by the end of 2027. This is Alakija station and this is where we we'll wrap this video to be continued next time. If you're not yet a subscriber of this channel, please, it's time you become a member so you'll be notified when next and make an update on this project and other projects going on around Nigeria. Remember your boy, OZ. Please like this video for the mighty algorithm so to get more eyeballs. And of course, I want to get your feedback in the comment section. Let's go first. Tell me how well I've done on the project. Tell me things you feel like I didn't capture in the video. Ask questions you feel like I should give answers to. That'll be there to interact with you. So I come here again. Remember, good. Be blessed.